All right, welcome everyone to Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for My, My Hero, Hero Academia, Academia, Season 7, Episode 3. Yeah. yeah. Way to go, you legend. Like, yeah. that, that was that was badass. She made her mark. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's yep. a star in all of our hearts. That's right. And, and permanent consequences to fights because MHA loves doing that. Yeah. And, oh, hey, doesn't it feel good to have the villains have the permanent consequences? Oh, yeah. I love I it. I love it. I yeah, love it. It's great. It's also a fun thing to just have a smack in the face at all for one again because I feel like most of the permanent consequences that have been like on that level have mm -hmm. been things like twice dying, things that yeah. have happened to more of like the the humans, the ones that basically right, the people feel that aren't attached. The gods. Yeah. But yeah, the people that feel well, that feel attached to like humanity still. Mm -hmm. And all for one's whole thing is, you know, like I'm above all that. Like and right. and yep. his his fear, his his great fear was basically like it reared its ugly head again and it's uh -huh. like, remember what it's like to feel fear. Oh, yeah. And he's just like yeah, yeah. Now go, go, go to sleep. It's yeah. like I am going to sleep, but just remember, mm -hmm. like, <laughs> this is what can happen. So what the what idea, is that saying of awaking a waking a sleeping giant? I feel like that's I mean, what Star Wars I mean, basically. But, but even that, just the idea of the collective group mm -hmm. of quirks and humanity coming together. Yep. That's what the class represents. Exactly. So if we get this next arc of things about the class coming together around Deku, who's been at this very low point. I'm very, very excited for the emotions surrounding oh, yeah. that because then we can have real stakes that go into not just whether or not the class is winning their fights or losing their fights, but their relationships as a whole. So, yes. all good stuff. Oh, we just lost a light. But well, yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. The desires are, are mm -hmm. mixing too, like yep. what he wants, yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I want to blow it all away. Mm. Oh, the way he speaks so slowly, too. God, oh shit! This is him using, um... Maybe the uh, high ends? The, the, the reconnaissance quirk that he stole from the pussycat. Wait, I have many friends. Then it shows Invisible Girl? Wait, in the title's villain? Wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. I, I don't think he was showing Invisible Girl. I think he's just showing gloves. Okay, okay, this is where everybody's at. Nice. <laughs> yes, all the strong people. Oh, combos. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sticking all of the weightless things to her tongue. Wait. Oh, shit. Oh. All right. Delayed explosions or manual explosions on sweat that he's released. Okay. Oh, okay. sick. <laughs> I am finally stronger than you, Kakarot. Ah, thanks. まだ掴みかけたけど。左のコントロールも右に追いついたはず。わあ。ダビの火力に焼かれねえからだ。いや。ファイ。I <laughs> Yeah, he has a cent you know, century or more to have like hideouts and things. Yep. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God, I love that this conversation is happening while his hair's like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, yep. Sorry, bad habit. <laughs> yeah, some people are missing, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see, obviously the joke is I don't see Invisible Girl, but. 
She's training. Right, right, right. Wait. <gasps> it's not invisible, girl. It's but she's the one who's gonna find it. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's yeah. It's. Oh shit. Oh my. Oh god. my god. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. We're doing this. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. There's so many right. things that this did is, point to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And I, I love this kind of like like Draco angle yeah. here. And this is why the the like traitor thing hasn't been a plot point as much yeah. recently because he doesn't want to. Right. <gasps> he was corkless. Oh, oh shit. That's why that's why he gets belly aches and stuff. His cork is Yeah, 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 yeah. His cork isn't oh his. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh shit. I love it. The person who is the most obvious. Yeah. He cannot stop twinkling. Whoa. But this was my fault. Oh, oh. Sure, th this, oh, this yeah. was his out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Taskete. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Whoa. oh. And then too. Yeah. Yeah, I did right. notice that. Oh yeah. shit. No, not help. Stop. <sighs> yeah, because you've always been so shining and right, right. positive. God, I love the idea okay. that he stood out all this time. Right, and, and he's always he had those moments like looking at the camera. Right. Wow. And then suddenly he stops standing out. Yeah, because he's not doing okay. Oh, the distortion. Okay. Oh, shit. Hmm. Hmm. You get a new one. Yeah. Oh god, and, and any one of them could have, you know, uh -huh. bombs effectively in them Sure, too. yes, absolutely. Holy shit. Yeah, because he did get his quirk from- Oh shit! And they're just trying to save his life effectively, like- Oh yeah. Sure. And then oh. they can't give him the one thing that he wanted. Yep, yep. Yeah, them finding out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's so right. good. Yeah. Right. And it, mm -hmm. Oh, that's yep, so good. Yep, cool. yep, yep. So then they get him right. equipment to make to, it to actually help stabilize it and make it But yeah, work the equipment and... has nothing to do with his quirk because right. it's, it's, ah. yeah. Holy shit. Right, 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 right. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, right now. Yeah. Because oh! she can reflect light. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! Let's go. Let's go! Invisible girl! Oh, we get to see her! Right, right. Oh! Let's go! Yep, sorry. Uh huh. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Right. It's over. 
やめよう。はあ。はあ。はい。そう。今無事ということは。長野のように裏切ったら爆発する仕掛けはないようだ。<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Assuming he wasn't just wanting, you know, him to get close to somebody more important. はあ。青山さん。青山。嘘だって言えよ。オールフォーワンについて知ってる。In the grand scheme of things, you're not that important, which、yep. is helpful. We have bigger fish to deal with. Right. Oh. Sure. Wow.、Mm-hmm. Well, there's also three of you, so you're all worried about each other, and that keeps、right. you in a state of paralysis. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Good、Don't、to take responsibility. Uh huh. So you finally had a friend that you could, yeah, sure, connect with, yeah. Oh, Oh, sure. Yeah, he's trying yeah, to do what、yeah. Lily can. Yeah.、Uh-huh. Right. Oh, well, go.、Oh, that's great. The note taker.、Yeah. Keeping all the details. Uh huh. Right. Wow. This is Deku right here. This is Deku. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yes.、Yeah. Nice. Staying the line and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.、Uh-huh. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Don't. Uh. Right.、Mm-hmm. Yep. There might be triggers that need to. Right. And regardless of what happens, you don't want him to join you in this fight. He's out of the fight for now. Or just out of the fight. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh,、awesome. shit. But the thing is, he's got he's got search, though. Like, yeah. So well, you have but, to really make it be like total bait. Okay. All right. Who's, It's official. Who's the traitor? Well, the one that is the most like, standout,、uh-huh. most visually distracting character.、Yep. I love it. It's not Invisible Girl. No. It's not like, I, I don't know, one of the characters that we've spent like, an inordinate amount of time getting to know. And it's like, you know,、right. they're, yet, they're secretly leading a double life for some you know, no. thing. No, it's, it's the one person whose quirk was inherently not.、Um, yeah, not, symp- not like, sim- sim- sim-、uh, uh, synergistic or, with their、right. body. Yes. That's. That's such a cool, like, obvious little tell there. Right, of it was there the whole time, you know? And、right. yet, the thing and is. And then also, he was also the meta one that was kind of funny because he was always just sitting there, just looking at the, camera. At the camera. Because we、yeah. thought he's like the model who always finds the camera. Right, right, exactly. Like, I'm、yeah. glorious. I'm gl-. And well, now it's the. No, no, no. Now when you look back,、mm-hmm. you just see him there constantly being like, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> Hi.、Right. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> But also, just the idea that. <laughs> As far as the quirks that we get, right,、mm-hmm. in the show, you know, especially early on where we're getting introduced to the class and all that stuff, naval laser, that's like, that just, that was the, that was the ceiling on the silliness, right, that we could get、yes. from it. I shoot lasers out of my belly button. Yeah. Now, I, I, this, I loved, you know, right? I loved the idea that his quirk was one that was kind of awkward. So the idea that in this, in the genetic makeup、right. of humans, you can have tons of crazy quirks that don't really. They're not really helpful in the most、mm-hmm. extreme way. So the idea that his was like a, oh, this is actually really intense upon my body,、yep. but it has crazy potential upward you know, use because it's a laser. We, it could get 
Who oh, knows yeah. how strong it could oh, get? Oh, sure. So the idea that, oh, yeah, we have to give him effectively a very special piece of equipment. And yep. he did always feel like he came from wealth and money. So oh, absolutely. the idea that yeah. he's probably had this equipment and mm -hmm. gotten many upgrades over the years. Yeah, yep. it was all inferred by just his design and the way he, that he talked. But also the idea that, like, all for one is so like, oh, sure, yeah, 100 yen lighter, basically. <laughs> I'll give you this quirk that... Like, it, it's useless to it's me. It's useless to me. And and you're not going to get much use. Oh, great. Okay, they found a way to make use out of it because they're rich and all that stuff. And they, you know, uh -huh. spend a lot of time and money to be like, okay, let's get him some gear that can, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But the idea that it's he gave them something so insignificant and then it's like, and now I own you. Yeah. Right? That, like that, that feels such like a perfect... Uh, like like petty, Faustian bargain kind of... Yeah, head. yeah. Faustian bargain, like loan shark kind of thing of where right. it's the like, yeah... I give you exactly what you want, and now, for the rest of time, mm -hmm. I know your location. Right. I know who you are. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody Double will give a me. nobody will give a rat's ass if you go crying to the police or anything about that. About oh, some evil supervillain is you right. know you know blackmailing us. No, you're yeah. nothing to me. You're nothing yep. to them. I will kill you. Right. I will I will, I will brutalize your son. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's so easy for him to be this uh, looming dark force over the world because the implied thing with All for One is that because he's been around for so long, he has infinite potential allies and contacts. So right. while he has the infinite quirk aspect as well, he, he has, has the, the infinite, prep, infinite time. prep time. Thank you. So yeah. the idea that in this episode, we literally have him kind of monologuing in like, Oh yes, look how powerful I am. Mm -hmm. I have I have all these roots that I could use. And yes, many of them fail. In fact, most of them do. But I just, I just get a new one. I yeah. just yeah. Right. And so the idea that Aoyama might have just been a failure for him here, he doesn't even care. Right. But it also means that if he suddenly says, No, sir, I actually did something. Maybe not kill Deku, that might be a bit much, you know. But like in whatever way that, you know, like if they are able to stage something so that then the info that All for One gets makes him think, wait, that that little that little shit actually did something? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I can use that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because all of his roots have to be viable, right? right. You know, it, because any of them could theoretically be the one that works. So what yeah. would be fun also is that if it's not a Deku related thing, mm -hmm. but because we have like, well, Toya, for instance, a.k.a. Dobby, um, we could even do this where it's not a thing of trying to lure all for one. It's something that could get passed along that would lure sure. characters with other motivations, yeah. like mm -hmm. Toya, for instance. Yep. So it's the, oh, and then if we get one of the League of Villains here, then we can get you know, right. info. Because well, in some ways, Dobby's probably the biggest threat to All for One right now, weirdly enough. Sure. And if he goes out in a, you know, a big blaze of like, he has no loyalty all that, to All for One. No, and he yeah. could be beaten, he could be taken, he could be interrogated. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's all oh, kinds yeah. of things. So you he's just, like, no, 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 sit, sit the fuck down, right. kid. You know? Like, you get one living uh, operative of All for One, and then you get Shinso. Right, yeah. like yeah. you know, and yeah. it's just all right, cool. It's it's done, you know. <laughs> um, so so there's, there's infinite potential quirks that humanity could have that you right. could need to be potentially afraid of, which, exactly. is, which is fun. And and one of the things that I also like about this, so um, when we got the oh, okay, we have a week until you know Shigaraki, yada mm -hmm. yada, right? Um, and then we go into training arc. I'm like, okay, yes, but also like wars aren't fought in a single day, yeah. you know. So like. I was I was wondering if they were going to do something where it's the, and now we can deal with all the other people around all for one before we get to the final battle or something. And this is a way now that they actually could mechanically do that yeah. and have a reason for the kids to be involved, mm -hmm. right? Beyond just, we're short on numbers, so sure, we'll take whatever help we can get. You know? Right. This is one of all for one's plants that gave them access to the school. Right. So, okay, let's pretend that the school is vulnerable. Let's basically mm -hmm. set up a situation where yep. they can do that. Because... That's the thing. How does All for One know when they've succeeded in their job? Yeah. They've they got to, they've got to basically do... Well, no, that's the thing. They've got to do basically some kind of equivalent of writing chalk on the door, you know? Exactly. So yeah. if they can do that, and mm -hmm. then one of All for One's contacts goes and goes, oh, cool. 
we got mm -hmm. heads up that something new has happened with the you right. know the Aoyama family and all yep. that. And I could absolutely see like not to go too much into like theory crafting of what specifically will come as a result of this. Mm -hmm. um, but if All for One thinks that there is a vulnerability at UA that also has a bunch of like civilians there and things like that, I would not be surprised if it's the okay, Dobby, go go burn the burn the rat hole. You know? Like, sure, like just sure. go in there and torch it, you know. Yeah, and kill the contact and yeah, everything. Like as well. like you'll you'll they'll probably take you out, but like, you know, if you really want to stick it to Endeavor. Yeah, go kill his prized, you know, you know, son. Or not even that. Just torch ten thousand people in a you know confined location. Oh, because you know? all the people that are using it for shelter. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. You know, that's like true. that's that's you know that's the real weakness there. That's a, that's a fa that would be a failure on his part as the number one hero. Right, and it would I, absolutely I, I, undermine the morale of everybody else. Yeah, yeah. I, I would love to see also something where it's the hey, we're not gonna make some move that's going to be happening now, mm -hmm. but it's the thing of where they'll set up something that then. Once all for one feels ready to move, sure. Then he moves he'll in a specific come way, and he'll move in a specific way. Because that's yeah. probably the part that's the scariest thing here is that they only have seven days, mm -hmm. and if they can get him to go where they want him to go, then we can we can do a we proper, can actually do the fight. Because can, right, right, it's not just that you know we need to do something before the seven days. We need to make sure that you know it doesn't turn into ten days. Right, that would right. be the real problem. You right. know. Yeah. And and the, the other probably really scary thing is that we don't know what an awakened Shigaraki all for one with decay being used at a turbo large scale, mm -hmm. bigger than what was used at, you know, season six stuff. Yeah. He basically decimated city level kind of stuff there. He could potentially just decay Japan. Like sure. like like yep. there's 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 levels that we don't know what happens when all for one's quirk mixing and uh, combining mm -hmm. adds stuff into what makes Shigaraki so scary is that he can destroy not just what he touches but then the, the things, things that, that are that getting touches. decayed then right. chain reaction yeah, if there, out. If there was not an, a theoretical limit, you know, he uses it once, the whole world gets wiped out, right? You know, like... Right. Clear, clearly, thankfully, All for One is not just a destroy the world kind of person. Exactly. He, he is basically the equivalent of a mob boss. He wants to just he wants run to things his yeah. way, and he wants to uh, stick it to All Might effectively because of their, you know, past, you know, uh, connection through the right. through the One for All and All for One quirks and the people there. So, so that's that's all just set up here. But then we get the emotion of Aoyama has been this person who felt in the last few seasons, especially in the last two, that there's That's been something sense. there's been something off about him. Yeah. And there's been something just kind of weird. And I I love that it's this because in a lot of ways he just felt like there was something that he was developing specifically with his connection to Deku that it was like, oh, mm -hmm. I wanna know yeah. where that emotion is coming from. Who who are you really? And it's, oh, I have this immense guilt. I have this immense shame of being someone who I was is essentially your, your, your worst and, enemy, yeah. even though I, we should be able to understand each other even more, but I can't mm -hmm. talk yep. with you because my family could get killed. Right. And then Deku, the fucking Giga Chad note taker of the whole thing, calls out every single moment in the series yeah. that he's like, what about this? What about this moment where yeah. you helped? Uh -huh. And it's like, wait. That's a great way to oh like, be like, hey, you know, Audience, here's all the here's all the breadcrumbs that I you know that, strung that, that, all along the great story that I was telling that you weren't privy to, right? Right, right, right. But guess what? You know, because yeah, Deku is very attentive, you know, and all that stuff. He notices these things and then he brings them up. Mm -hmm. um, and also, this is just <sighs> a, a a little meta thing that I that I love that made me not suspicious of Aoyama. Uh huh. Um, we've gone into a much more tonally serious dark. Yes. section of MHA, That's right? That's absolutely true. Th there's no contest about that, right? Yep. Naval laser was a very silly, fun thing that we had at the beginning of the show. Yes, <laughs> Aoyama's, yeah. Aoyama's still around, of course, yeah, and yes, yeah. we can have these serious moments with him, but the fact that there were these differences in the way he was acting, I didn't think much of it, because one, I wasn't just thinking of it, but even like subconsciously, it's the, well, no, that makes sense that he wouldn't have as big of a presence because... 
this is where Deku is going on his vigilante arc, not where Aoyama is staring at the camera and winking. You right, know, right? right. Like, it's, it's, the, it's the difference of where this is starting to weigh on him. He is mm-hmm. losing his twinkle. So it, it makes sense then that... Because who wouldn't in this situation? Right, who wouldn't? Yeah. So, so the idea that as the scale and uh, disp- the scale and uh, threat of this whole mm-hmm. conflict increases um, and the emotions and everything weighs heavy on everybody, yeah, he's not his light, bouncy self as much. Right. It makes sense. So the idea that then it was the, no, there, there, was, there was something else there going some on very, there. Well, and, and some very telltale signs of, oh, yeah, they went through literally everybody saying someone to Deku except him. I, I feel like I literally called I that think out. I did, yeah. I feel like I literally called that out. I was like, I wonder if that's the yeah, point I is that it spoke volumes well, was that it was it was actually right. the silence. And that, I think we might have even, I feel like we mentioned that also of, oh no, Aoyama was there. He's right there, you know, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, I guess he just wasn't there. I, I suppose that's possible, you know? And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Oh no, okay. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel yeah. like also for me, this might have been the meta thing that Horikoshi was doing, mm-hmm. but I feel like, he might have been prepping us for this by having Aoyama constantly looking at the camera. So it's the thing of where, oh, uh-huh. over the course of the show, as you have all the ensemble shots where you get to see the right. entire 1A class, mm-hmm. every once in a while you're like, okay, there's everybody. Now, where's Aoyama's little son of a oh, bitch yeah. face and sparkle looking right. at the camera? Ah, there he is. Yes, it's, it's a, a where's Waldo kind of situation. Exactly. Yeah. Not just as a, hey, he's staring at the audience, and so it's like, wait, have you been telling us the whole time? But from a, yeah, that different perspective, make it so that the audience is looking for all those Aoyama little moments that'll be hidden in there because we know he's not that serious of a character, right? But he's certainly more like fun and interesting than like, you know, Mr. Sugar Rush or something, right? We're looking sure. for those bits sure. that he's going to add in the background. Yeah. And then, he did oh, have, hey, it he, comes and pays off. Yeah, he did have kind of his character upgrade moment at the end of season four. But mm-hmm. the problem was that that was also in one of the least interesting arcs of MHA. So mm. a lot of times my investment in specific parts of MHA comes about by the amount that I rewatch those parts. Oh, sure. And there's a lot of parts that get rewatched in MHA. Mm-hmm. And for me, there's also a lot of parts that don't get rewatched. Yeah. So it it sucks that in a lot of ways I feel like I would be I would be uh, I would be more attached to Aoyama as a character, you know, from the get go. Um if I had like rewatched more of those parts that where he did get that extra focus, sure, it's kind of like you know, um, it's kind of like Jiro getting the focus in the band uh, concert bit. That was actually one of the parts that I rewatched quite yeah. a bit because I nice. I particularly liked that actual mm-hmm. the part in uh, the second half of of season four. Um, oh wait, no, that would have been actually for Aoyama. Would that have been the end of season three? That he would have had his upgrade moment. I don't know. I believe. I believe it was. The I don't end of remember much three. at the end of season three. No, no, you know, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but all right. Also, just a fun little like a uh, bit of like, hey, you guys have been waiting for this, right? We say Hagi Kuroi's look. Nice. It's yeah. a great look. She and looks I, like she came straight from Land of the Lustrous. Yep, it's wonderful. I love that it's something right where we get the character design, but still not entirely the character design. Right. You know, enough enough for the fan artists to basically go crazy and be like, okay, let's extrapolate what we think. Right. You know, she would actually look like all, all the way through, but also at the same time, yeah, because of how her quirk is, like it feels very like JoJo character kind of a thing. She has no canonical color scheme. Nope. Right. You know, it's just. Because of course she doesn't. She's invisible. Yeah. Right. If anything. You know? The reason why she's even slightly blue here mm-hmm. is probably just because of Aoyama's laser. Oh yeah. And it's just no. well, right, which has a different poetry on its own. Aoyama, you might not feel like you can twinkle right now, but guess what? You helped other people twinkle. You did. You, you fucking know? did. Right? Exactly. So, well said. So, well said. You know, don't... There's there's something to be said for the way in which Deku, as a character, mm-hmm. represents in a lot of ways the entire theme of the story. Therefore, Aoyama who was quirkless, who also yeah. felt outcast and separated from everybody else, then even when he then goes into his overperforming kind of, this is who I am, because he's so fucking excited to have he a He actually quirk, has a quirk, yeah. He then in some ways feels still like an outcast. A lot of people don't really vibe with him. Like there's sure. not a lot of times we see in the story where people are really like buddy buddy with him. Yeah, he's so sort of loud that he's alone. And he feels yeah. like he's pushed people away. But there's key moments where mm-hmm. Deku kind of and him bonded. Yeah. And yeah, oh, I like it. Because of those moments, you actually encouraged Deku, mm-hmm. even though at the end, 
when Deku comes back and everything, you don't well, have that feeling that you can go and connect with him because you're yes. like, oh shit, now I have to go and do my my thing again. So, and that's one of the other things that I want to say is really good with the fact that they had it be Aoyama because mm -hmm. the biggest issue that I had conceptually with the idea of, of a, a UA student being a traitor that's in class 1A, right? Mm -hmm. Is it didn't have to be a student or 1A, but no, but it's it, you know, it very much like that, set up that it's a student, right? Yeah, and, the and problem because is, of the first incident being one where 1A specifically, yeah, gets it, it, right, it's not, it's not you know, 1B or whatever, right? No, no, you know, no, no. no it's, it's 1A, so it's 1A for sure, but yeah, but a lot of the characters in 1A mm -hmm. fall into a category of either. We know them too well for them to be a traitor. It would be dissatisfying and <laughs> feel like very a huge asshole if, if they are like, 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 like Froppy, oh, you know, is the traitor. And it's no, like, 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 Keto, that's, Keto, that's, I always wanted to kill you, no, Deku, no, 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 you know, no, no, right? No. Like, like, who who would be like the tiniest modicum of realistic where it'd be like, holy shit, it would be like terrifyingly like, like, like it would have to be someone that's like really big in the story, but has like some like it would see. Have that's to, the that's the trouble. No, like it's like no, but it, but it, but it could be because there's 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 characters where it's like it's no. dumb. No, 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 no. I'm talking I, like that's characters. Just for I'm me. talking like characters like Todoroki and or like Uraraka. Like, oh yeah, no, no, no shot. Right, like, right, right. It would be dumb. Yeah, but that's where in some ways. There was this barrier of like mm -hmm. of the characters that we really are attached to, and you have a lot of characterization for it, so that we know their motivations. You couldn't have it be right. any of them, and and this is right, and this is why I think the Aoyama thing is actually kind of brilliant because on the characters we know too much, yeah, that's an like that's a very clear problem with mm -hmm. the characters that we don't know enough. Then it's cool. We don't. This doesn't. Okay, you know, but then it just becomes their whole character because we might not know them very well. And how do you make it so that it's not something where their character, if they are developed a bit, is changing? In Aoyama's case, the big defining factor, other than that he loves attention and, you know, twinkling and all that stuff, is that he is somebody who is not brave, but tries to be. Mm -hmm. yep. We do see those moments of him shooting the laser out mm -hmm. from the bush, you know, right? And yeah. being like, way to go! Way to go, yeah. right? Because that's not the kind of person he is. He doesn't think of himself really as a hero, even though he wants to be. Right. And that didn't change that with didn't this change. reveal. No. That, in fact, just got deepened. Yeah. That's why I feel like it works so well. Right. Because it's still the same person, yeah. right? Like, it's not a, a, no, you must get to know this completely different character. And if you did like the the, the, the fake, old character. That, that character didn't even exist, that, you know, and you'll never right. see them again, right? Yeah, you yeah. know, like, that's no fun. And then it's not somebody like, Invisible Girl or Sato or right. a, a, yeah. a Ajiro or something where it's like somebody that we were so barely like, you know, aware of their mm -hmm. like characterization beyond like some little quips that they give in the background. Right, that it's like, oh. you know, I don't even know who you are, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like that, yeah. In some ways, that's kind of why I like that <laughs> Hagakure was actually like comboed in with this because it's the... You this, thought it was Hagakure? No, of course it's not, you know, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Her thing is that she's been actually like keeping just a close tab on everybody just to mm, make sure everybody's yeah. doing well. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, if you're invisible, that's yeah, probably the right. second thing is that nobody keeps close tabs on you. So in some ways, in order to get connection with people, <laughs> your whole thing is keeping tabs Absolutely. on other people. I just thought of a thing that I think is kind of funny. Everyone asks, where is Invisible Girl? No, no one, one asks, asks, how is Invisible Girl? Girl. <laughs> <You know>. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. No one needs to ask where is Aoyama because yeah, everybody knows. motherfucker knows. Everybody's mm -hmm. like, like yeah, yep. uh, yeah. Oh I'm man, here. and 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 the the sort of the the gall to sort of like like One Piece style where if we get some moment where then Aoyama participates in the main fight and he does some crazy awesome move with his naval fucking laser, mm -hmm. right, as his way to stand up to all for one. Yeah. That will be so badass despite the fact that it's potentially in like the finale of this long running series, the serious moments and all that stuff. Yep. You have a naval laser being shot and you know, and it's the, that's right, yeah, that's my boy, now, go! You know what it's gonna you know. be is that Hagakura's gonna catch it, and then she's gonna do a Kamehameha <laughs> with it. And she like she like constantly refracts it, like. Yeah. And he's just sitting there, just like ah, charging it up, and oh then she's just God. like, ah. <laughs> come on, you know it'd be. Oh yeah, awesome. I know, absolutely, and that's the kind of shit that you can do with this. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, let let's be real. One of the things that I've been ready for mm -hmm. 
is that in this world of crazy god you know, characters who are just stacking quirks onto insane right. levels where there's really no reason why the class should be even remotely helpful. Mm -hmm. The fact, though, that in some ways, if for a second you stacked all their quirks together, right. there are some weird ways in which you could oh, make absolutely. the ultimate, like, team attack. Yes. And that's what makes it so fun when you're playing with your toys and your superhero comics uh -huh. and things like oh, that. Yeah. You're just like, and then they combine with this, and that's... Uh huh. And except that's what the villain's doing by yep. himself, greedy little fuck. And then that's what our protagonist is doing in some ways as well. So it's the wait. What if actually yeah. that's the point? Is that we get all their black pages finally? We actually get uh, sure. Uh, uh, what what was what's his name? Uh, Tentacool uh, with all the, oh, the, uh, the the arms and everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, um, but forgetting. basically, you uh -huh. can get all of them to end up like. Comboing in some way. Oh yeah, I still want uh, Sarah, or Sarah the, the tape guy, yeah, to yeah. just get a bunch of Minetta's Zero. sticky balls, you know, and just turn it into like a. All right, I think cool. he's already literally done that too. Probably, like we've shown him, I think, doing that exact same thing. Yeah, and then it's the okay, you know, you do that, and then uh, I don't know what the fuck would happen after that, you know? Uh, he makes a net, and then uh, our our boy, our 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 animal boy. Uh, grabs a bunch of birds and they fly this big net right. over the sky and then suddenly the sky darkens and or, it just drops. Or just like, you know, Uraraka then makes a bunch of things float that then stick to the sticky balls that are on the person. So now, yes, they can still move. It doesn't weigh them down. Or maybe it does because then Uraraka like makes it heavy again, you mm -hmm. know. Or it's just, no, you're in the middle of like 20 feet of debris. You, you put know. Kirishima stuck with all these balls, and you basically turn <laughs> Kirishima into a meteor that has a bunch of stuff constantly sticking to him, and it's weightless, and he just He's, throw. He just turns into a backpack that's just constantly, like, biting them, you know, or something <laughs> like that. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all kinds of stuff like that. But, yep. uh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's have Deku tell somebody else that, hey, even in this hero. moment, you two can be a hero. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's the good shit. That's that's why we're here. Yep. So, all right, we're gonna have to use, unfortunately, Aoyama, probably, as bait here, and this is the scary thing: is that mm -hmm. like, Aoyama. Oh, this yeah. Is, this so, is gonna get scary in yeah. a couple days. All right. This so is I want to I want to see the minions of All for One do something once you know our class ends up setting up their plan that then creates some interplay as we count down to the final, you know, the final right. day, basically. So so a bit dark here. But let's say Aoyama gets exploded, right? One, we don't have to worry about that because internal explosions don't kill people. But um, <laughs> then he would be twinkling even in his final moments. Ah, all right. Yeah. Yeah. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, well, you got to wait because we're doing these week to week with everybody exactly. else. But you can check out our full length timer reaction to go through all that stuff there. Uh, and link in the description below for our Patreon. Any level of support there gets you access to our Discord where you can chat with us and the community there about this show, about anime in general. And also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. So yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.